Gamers, what's good guys? So I've been tinkering around with Sprite Tri Brigade, or as I like to call it, Sprite Brigade, and oh man, this deck is crazy. I've been getting a bunch of win streaks in Master One with this deck. It's really phenomenal. Uh, you know, the name of the game is basically setting up a Tri Brigade board under an elf, and you know, if you're lucky, you'll set up a couple of Sprite Negates. It has a lot of added consistency because Sprint is just broken. Also, Nimble Beaver's a beast, so you know, go figure. This stuff is absolutely insane. It's kind of hard to play. It's a little bit more advanced. So that's why I wanted to make a video like this. So what we're going to do for this video. First off, I'm going to show you guys basically some gameplay in solo mode. And I'm just going to show you a very simple and easy to follow flowcharty combo that you can do with any two level two monsters or basically any monster plus a level two monster. So I won't even use the rest of my hand. It's going to be a very simple flowchart combo. Just showing you how you can set up an IP Mascarena, a Ancient Warrior's Oath, an Elf, as well as a Tri Brigade Revolt. That board is absolutely phenomenal and being able to set it up with only two monsters is really crazy Don't sleep on it revolt is a hell of a card builds a bunch of advantage So anyway guys, let me show you that combo. All right guys So instead of a replay, I'm just gonna take you through the combo uh, And we're not gonna use any of the other cards in our hand here We're just gonna use two level two monsters because I just want to show you a very flow charty combo with this deck Just so that you guys get the basics of the deck. This deck has a lot of branching paths It's a bit more advanced. There's a couple of locks to watch out for so i think as soon as you guys understand this flow charty combo uh it'll open up the strategy for you and it'll be a lot easier to play the deck uh just like you know uh, using extension using different cards and stuff like that so let's just go with our nimble beaver here we're not going to use any of the other cards in our hand this turn and i mean we're not going to ash ourselves either so first off the reason we're running two angler is so that if we normal summon nimble beaver we still have two left in the deck to be able to use our sprint so that's why i'm running two angler not everyone does this but i really like that option so here we're going to summon a nimble angler from the deck with our nimble beaver and you want to go into sprint sprint is going to send a nimble angler to the graveyard and summon summon two more beavers from your deck so here we go sprite sprint sprint effect send the uh yes the nimble angler to the grave and we get to summon using the angler effect two copies of nimble beaver i really wish this ash was not in my hand okay summon these two now we're going to use a sprint as well as a beaver to make ourselves a gigantic sprite. So using these two, we make a gigantic sprite. Very important to leave this beaver on the field. Keep in mind, the nimble beavers are beast monsters, which is really important for this deck because that means they'll be able to be used as material after we get locked uh, from the tri-brigade monsters. So here we're going to detach the nimble beaver. Doesn't really matter because we're going to link the uh, gigantic away regardless. But here we're going to summon a kit off of Gigantic. Now you could use the effective kit here, but you don't want to yet. Instead, we want to use this Gigantic as material before we're not allowed to anymore. So make ourselves a copy of Sprite Elf using the Gigantic as well as kit. Summon a Sprite Elf. Very broken, right? Then we get to use the effective kit in the grave and send a Nerval to the graveyard. Nerval to the grave. We can trigger the Nerval so that we can search ourselves a copy of Keras. So keep in mind, I just searched this with a Nerval. I could summon Keras by discarding Fractal, but we're acting like this hand doesn't really exist. We're acting like all of these cards are just blanks, okay? Because I just want to show you a combo with two monsters. So we're going to act as if Fractal is not here, and I just added Keras, and all these cards just aren't anything. So we're going to go Sprite Elf Effect here to bring back our kit from the grave. Bring back kit from the grave. Now keep in mind, we have a Nerval and a Beaver in Graves. That's two beasts. So that means we can use the effect of kit. Banishing two from the graveyard. So we're going to banish... Oh, actually, we have another beaver. So we actually have three beasts. But doesn't matter. Banishing two from the grave here. We're going to summon ourselves a Tri Brigade Fergit Baron Blossom. And uh, we could use the Baron Blossom effect, but we're not going to do it yet. Instead, we're going to use these two here. And we're going to go for Mascarena. So using these two, make a Mascarena. The reason for that is I don't want to put my um, Keras in these zones because this is where we get to Link Summon, right? So we don't want to clog up these zones. So you have to make IP Mascarena first. Going to summon IP Mascarena here. You could put it here if you'd rather protect your IP Mascarena. And after that, we're going to use the effect of Baron Blossom and we can special summon Keras from our hand. No Fractal required. Then we can go for Keras effect and we have two more in the grave because we just made our IP Mascarena. So we're going to banish a Nimble Beaver and a Kit. And we're going to get the special summon from our extra deck here, Ancient Warrior's Oath. So we're going to use this guy here, summon him right there. And what do we have here? We have one Tri Brigade monster and another Tri Brigade monster. So with these two, we can make ourselves a Bear Brum. 
Make ourselves a Bear Brum. Now, keep in mind, at this point, I could do further extension. I'm not going to, but, you know, like, before doing this, I could have summoned the blue. But I just want to show you guys just a two-card combo. So we're going to act as if we have no other cards in hand. So in this case, I mean, I'm going to use the Baron Blossom here. I'm going to get to draw and return a card from my hand to the deck here. I'll return the tanky. Don't really need it. Either way, we'll get to go Bear Brum here. So Bear Brum effect. We're going to discard two cards. So one and two. And we can special summon from our banished pile a beast or a tribe regain monster. Well, beast, beast warrior, or winged beast from our banished pile. So we're going to grab our kit here, special that kit. Then using these two, we can make ourselves another Baron Blossom. Later down the line, we'll have a better link option for this. But at the moment, this is our best option until it comes out in the game. So we make a second copy of Baron Blossom. Not really useful for anything other than getting the Bear Brum in the grave so that we can trigger the Bear Brum. So now we're going to go Bear Brum effect, grab ourselves a Revolt. And I mean, okay, like I said, I wouldn't use my cards in my hand, but I mean, we have the double cross and like we might as well keep it so we can lose the ash here and here we can set revolt set double cross since we have it you know it's a spare card um normally if you didn't have the nimble beaver at the start of your turn and you had summoned a sprite with another monster uh you would only have the tri brigade revolt at this point you would not really have had a choice uh it's just that we had like a bigger hand in that situation this is the main line that you can do with any level like to any two level two monsters or any monster plus a level two is just go into sprint send the angler and from there you get this board this is the board you get off of two level two monsters right so this is kind of scary we have our bounce with the warrior's oath as soon as we have three spaces clear on the field we can activate revolt revolt can summon the uh, furgit as well as the nerval and any other like uh, beast beast warrior wing beast whatever from our grave or banish pile and then we can make ourselves a shurag get a banish we'll get a draw off of furgit and a search off of nerval which means we can like return that nerval search to the deck uh in order to just get a draw i'll show you what i mean in a second so let's pass turn here We're, again i love to do this we are playing against the digital bugs they are my favorite solo mode to destroy so here we're just going to use it very quickly i just want to use it so send the farajit to the grave here just to bounce that web soldier i'm just trying to use my cards very quickly here we're not going to use the effect of baron blossom yet instead we're waiting for them to do something on end phase we're going to go revolt and we can summon out the Baron Blossom. So summon the Baron Blossom. You're going to summon your Nerval. And then the third monster, it doesn't really matter. So I guess we'll grab a Beaver. It doesn't really matter the third one, what it is. So one, two, and three. There we go. And we can make ourselves a Shurag. Just like that. Boom. Shurag is here. So now what we can do, we have our Baron Blossom, which is going to draw a card and return a card from our hand to the deck. Our Nerval, which is going to search a card, and our Shurag, which is going to banish a card. So you pretty much always want uh, Farajit to be Chainlink 1, because basically you want this to resolve at the end of your turn so that you actually get a choice. Because if you have zero cards in hand and you draw a card and return one to your deck, you don't get to make a choice, right? So basically what you want to do is go Chainlink 1, Farajit, Chainlink 2, Nerval, and Chainlink 3, Shurag. So yeah, go Chainlink 3, Shurag. Now... Um, if you guys don't want them to be able to respond to Shurag, you would do it the other way. If you're not worried about Ash, you know, you would go uh, Chainlink 2 Shurag, Chainlink 3 Nerval. As long as uh, Baron Blossom is Chainlink 1. So here we get to Banish with the Shurag. Then Nerval is going to search any Tribe Game monster from our deck. We're going to grab the Fractal, doesn't really matter. We draw with Baron Blossom, and then we get to choose if we want to keep what Baron Blossom drew, or if we want to keep the Fractal. So in this case, I mean, I'm definitely just going to keep the red. Because, like, we have Sprite Elf, we can summon this red on the next turn and just call it a day, right? So, draw a card here, Sprite Starter, even better. Doesn't really matter here. So, there you go. You have Lethal on the board, right? So, do you guys want, want to watch me beat the digital bug again? Do you want to watch me do it? I'll do it. I mean, I'm happy to show you. Like, there it is. He's dead. Digital bug. Defeated. But, yeah. So, confirmed this deck is better than digital bug, right? <laughs> 
pretty amazing deck and that's all off of just two cards uh this deck does get a lot more complicated when you start trying to extend because you might just like trip over your plays where you're like oh i think i can do this and this and you don't realize you locked yourself out of certain options so i do recommend practicing this deck in the solo mode if you guys do want to try this deck out it is a really really fun deck to play and uh, once you get used to it it's really crazy and going second is really strong uh, let's go do some live gameplay for this all right so let's get some real gameplay here it's kind of hard to get good gameplay in master one uh especially when we go first but we lost a coin flip so our opponent is going to make us go second hopefully that means uh we'll actually get to play and let's see what we're playing against here well uh, that's master one for you baby let's try again uh this is a pretty interesting hand not gonna lie hey yo what the i didn't even i, I didn't even oh man i swear being a content creator in master one rank is the worst it is the worst it's just you just can't get a game in you just can't get a game in let's see can i get gaming please can i game will you let me game jet effect to trigger we're gonna grab ourselves a w we're gonna grab ourselves a w and we're gonna move on and try to get gameplay for real this time uh, we have the revolt in hand which is kind of crazy uh we can normal summon keras well, we have Revolt and Double Cross in hand. They're going to go Maxi. Oh, shit. Oh, we have Ash. Woo! Lucky. Very lucky. Just base like that. Okay. Very good. So. No more. No more, please. No more. Well, I think the flow charty combo I gave you at the start of the video is really all you need to start learning the deck. It's kind of impossible for me to get live gameplay right now in Master 1. It's just scoop after scoop after scoop. So look, it is what it is. This is the deck. Let me give you the card by card real quick. We've got two copies of Nerval, three copies of Maxi, two Nimble Angler. You can play just one Nimble Angler if you would prefer. You don't have to play two. The reason I'm playing two is because if I summon Beaver, I can special summon the Angler. And then with these two, I can make myself a Sprint and send the other Angler to the grave to get two more Beavers. So just by having this in the extra deck, it means that we can actually get a bit more card advantage off of just normal summoning a Beaver. Otherwise, if you normal summon beaver you get to you have to summon another beaver and then send the angler for a single copy of beaver or you know it just it just doesn't have as much value so that's up to you uh we have one keras two copies of kit two copies of sprite blue two jet uh the reason i'm running two jet is because jet is getting uh, semi-limited in the next ban list the upcoming ban list so i'm building this deck ready for the upcoming ban list when jet is limited to two one copy of Red, one copy of Carrot, three Ash Blossom to negate Maxi, two copies of Fractal, one copy of Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial can send a Nimble Angler just to get, you know, two Beavers on the field. Or, you know, you can send a Kit or a Nerval if you need to trigger some, you know, of your uh, Tri Brigade cards in the grave. So, Foolish Burial is just a one card starter for basically two combos in your deck. Two copies of Dark Rule and Homor, two copies of Tanky. Tanky can search Fractal, Fractal send to the grave, you know, send the Kit, then with Kit send Nerval. Nerval can then search the Keras, and suddenly you have a bunch of tri brigades in the grave to banish off of Keras, so you can get into your tri brigade link place. We have two copies of Dark Ruler No More, two copies of Evenly, and two copies of Droplet. You can replace any board breakers you prefer with these. Like, you know, you don't have to play this ratio, obviously. This is just like the ratio I liked the most. Two copies of Tanky, like I just said, two copies of Called By, one copy of Crossout Designator. Uh, I'm not running the Imperm for the Crossout, so. Uh, kind of weird. I just want to negate Maxi as often as possible, but yeah. Uh, one copy of Revolt, two copies of Sprite Starter, and our one copy of Sprite Double Cross. Double Cross is really strong in this deck. I mean, you can grab stuff and put it under the uh, Farajit. You can put it next to the Farajit. You can put it next to the Bear Brum if you've messed up your combo and Bear Brum's still on the field for some reason. So yeah, there's a lot of situations where you can actually use Double Cross. It's really, really solid in this deck. I'm um, Also, uh, for the extra deck, we have one copy of Gigantic Sprite, one copy of Downard, and one copy of Zeus. So, you know, if you're going second, and you know you like you start bidding out their stuff with a bunch of different cards and you bait out all their interruptions but they still have some stuff on the field uh you can always just like make a gigantic sprite make him really big swing make a downard make a zeus and just you know 
wipe the board so very situational but it's a nice package to have if you want to replace this package with maybe some extra uh, rank two plays that, that might be a good move as well uh, for the extra we also have ip mascarena ancient warriors oath two copies of baron blossom uh, eventually you'll have another card that you can play instead of the second baron blossom but for now this is the best that you can do and you really need both of them one copy of beer Brum, one copy of sprite elf one copy of sprint of course the arugal the silver sheller uh, i like never summon in this card but i mean everyone plays it so i'm just running it you know uh, let me know in the comments why one copy of appaloosa one copy of access code talker of course the shurag and i'm running the underworld goddess of the closed world as just like a really big payoff to ip mascarena for when i do that full combo that i showed you at the start of the video but yeah i mean this deck honestly is just crazy definitely a master one worthy deck i mean my win streaks that i got in master one with this deck are incredible very confident that i could have gotten to master one with this deck if i decide to play this this format it's just a cool deck it's really strong i know it's a bit complicated but promise you if you start learning that flow charty combo i showed at the start of the video just practice that and then maybe practice some alternative lines in solo mode you'll be able to play this deck very well it's not that hard there's really only two locks that you need to think about let me know if this video helped you out let me know if that flow chart combo i showed at the start was helpful i did something a little bit different you know i'm trying i'm trying to use the solo mode a little bit more it's very useful for these deck profiles as you can see when i'm in master one i can't really get some good footage of gameplay so i feel like just going to solo mode and just showing you the combo and just showing you like how you can practice it i think that's pretty good too anyway guys Thank you for checking out the video. Make sure to like it. Make sure to comment, subscribe. Huge shout out to my ultimate conductor tier members as always. I'll be Raptor Raptor, Bakken Bear for 20, Dad Dude Joey, Beat Up, Cinema JT, Jacob the King. You guys are awesome. Okay, that's it for me. Okay, I'm done spitting bars. I'm gonna get some sleep. All right, peace.